Being from uh, the Birmingham area, what did that moment mean to you and, and what did you see on the play? Yeah, I mean, it meant a lot. Obviously, uh, being Alabama is always just a great feeling, especially for this fan base, for all the players, all the coaches. It's just an unbelievable moment. Uh, so it was super exciting. Uh, David? For both of you guys, yeah, how would you describe tonight? <laughs> just uh, really just an unbelievable feeling. Like just so happy for everyone on this team, everybody who's worked so hard to, to have moments like this. So just super exciting. Yeah, just playing a great football team like that, um, finding a way, um, being defense, um, defensively we were strong, uh, being able to give, like I said before, offense uh, something to stand on and uh, be able to finish the game out. Uh, and just like, let me just say this, like this guy is one of the most unselfish people you'll ever meet. Like, for the team, does his job at an extremely high level and holds everybody accountable. And just having him beside me, um, because we work with each other a lot on the field. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want it any other way. I love my brother here. I appreciate that, AC. No problem. Yeah. We'll go Rob, and then we'll go to Patrick. Uh, Arion, uh, you've been here for some huge games before. What, what was the crowd like in the second half tonight on a couple of those occasions? Could you feel it? Oh there? yeah, oh yeah, it was rocking, especially on those last couple of drives. Uh, like it was so loud, like they couldn't get their pass their pass protection set, and um, just being able to have a crowd like that um, screaming and um, behind your back uh, is definitely a, a great feeling, especially uh, having that confidence to go out there and dominate. Patrick, Will, can you take us through the, the interception? What you saw with Callas? Yeah, we were in just like uh, former quarters, and you know, I saw just I saw the quarterback kind of double pump for a second, and just gave me the time to be able to go make the play. David Pascal, this can be for either one of y'all. I don't know if y'all saw it when it was happening when Boo Carter was kind of jawing at Kendrick Law, and Kendrick Law, you know, hit him and got that personal foul penalty, which turned out to be huge, put him in fourth and twenty-two. Did y'all see that kind of what was going on, and and what was y'all's thoughts of that? Because it wound up being a huge deal. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I didn't really see what all happened. I just kind of saw, like, the, the flags get thrown. Um, you know, that was kind of, like you said, it was a big moment, uh, big to push them back 15 more yards. So it's just great for us. Yeah, it's just great uh, that we that we were able to, uh, that that happened uh, and we were able to capitalize off of it. But, uh, like, I seen it, and um, as I seen it um, <laughs> unfold, and I just had to go grab them and let them know, like, hey, like, <laughs> it's big time ball game in, in a big situation hold your composure and um he's a he's a young player um like I like I like I like I am and um you know just being able to be a big brother to him and let him know like hey like let them do that we're we're gonna go we're gonna go play the next down and we're gonna we're gonna talk with our helmet we don't gotta put hands we'll go, on nobody we'll go to Jimmy and then Brent and then Chris well you, you've made two of the biggest plays on defense this year tonight and then the big six earlier as a, as a walk-on, what has given you the confidence to perform at this level? Uh, just my coaches and teammates, uh, my family who's always supported me, just everyone who's always supported me. Uh, thankful for the coaches believing in me and giving me the opportunity and my teammates playing with me and you know causing pressures to allow that to happen. For both of you guys, but particularly for you, Will, because you work with him as a position <coughs> coach too, but what makes Tim Banks such, such a good defensive coordinator? Yeah, I mean, he... Just knows a ton of ton about football, like ton about the game. Just the way he teaches us and prepares us to be able to go out there every single day, just is unbelievable. And just super thankful to have him as a coach. Yeah, just having a guy like that that's gonna be able to put you in um, the best position and situation to go win, um, and knowing that he's gonna uh, call the play call that's that's gonna be able to put us in the best situation to go dominate our one on ones. It's just great having a coach like that and a defensive mind be able to pick his brain every day in and day out. Chris. Aaron and, and then Will. So, Jalen Miller has played a lot of big games, a lot of big stages. You guys completely frustrated him tonight. Did you see that? And how much did you tell as the game went on, you know, playing against him? He just never was able to get any kind of rhythm against you guys. Well, we knew he was a great he, – he's a great quarterback. Um, he, he quarterbacks the, the offense um, at a tremendous level, and we knew they started with him. Um, and we knew we had to be able to disrupt the passer uh, to be able to uh, go win and get him off the field on third down. Yeah, I mean, like AC said, he's a he's a great player. Uh, we knew that, like obviously he has the ball every single play, and he can make plays with his legs and with his arms. So we knew we had to contain him all night, and I think we did a great job of that. Will Page. Uh, Will, just kind of going off of Jimmy's question. I mean, for you as a walk-on, you had to take a bet on yourself to come here and commit to that 
to get the game winning play against your home state team? I mean, what just what kind of feeling is that from a walk on to you know the peak of the mountain? Yeah, it's it's an unbelievable feeling. Uh, I'm just so thankful for these coaches giving me an opportunity every single day, uh, and just my teammates. Just so thankful for this opportunity, and glad I was able to go out there and execute it. I want to build off of that AC. We had the high praise for Brooks earlier. Just what was it like watching the interception and then celebrating on the sideline after? Yeah, I was just telling them uh, just a few minutes ago, like. We were in quarters coverage and like I was a man on man on man and I just seen it unfold and I seen him break on the ball. I was like, oh yeah, he's gonna go get that. <laughs> so it's just great knowing you got a guy that's gonna be in the right position at the right time and do his job at a very high level. And I wouldn't want anybody else behind me. Point blank period. With a couple of big picks tonight, obviously you have one. Jamal McCoy had a huge one there in, the, in that first half. What did you see on that play? And how well is he playing right now? Yeah, I mean, Jamal is an unbelievable player. He's, you know, I see him every day just working, preparing, and he just does everything right. And it's it's great to see him be able to go out there and make those plays because it's just it's awesome to have a guy like that out on the edge and just know he's going to lock all the receivers down. We'll take a few more for Ariana and Will. Uh, so we'll go to Vince next. Will, for you. Defending Ryan Williams, a part of the game plan, and limiting him with yards after catch. He was targeted 19 times. I mean, he got his catches, but he only had seven yards after a catch. How big was that? Yeah, I mean, going into the game, we knew like he's a big part of their offense, and we knew they were going to get him the ball. So we just just had to know where he is at all times, and just understand that that's who they're going to target a lot because he's he's a great player. Um, so we just knew we had to keep an eye out for him. Adam and Wes. Well, uh, Coach Happel said he thinks that that play you made will your like you'll tell your grandkids uh, one day. I know you're still a young guy, but what you had a pick to beat Alabama. What place do you think that play is going to have for you in your life? Yeah, I mean it's going to be up there at the top for sure, and I definitely will tell grandkids, kids all about that. So it's just it's a great feeling. That that play that, that you made to get Nolan on the ground on that quarterback sneak. Can you kind of walk us through that play? Because I, I mean, he might still be running if you hadn't got a hand on him. Yeah, I just kind of saw him like run through the gap, and I knew we were we were in our sneak check, so there's nobody behind me. So I just went all out, dove, and just tried to swipe his leg and get him down. All right, we'll let uh, Will and Aaron go after this last question here, and then we'll have questions for Dylan. Right here in the front. Yeah. What was your uh, first thing you wanted to stop with Alabama's offense to make them get in trouble? <coughs> yeah. Um, just stop. Just stop the. Uh, you want first of all, we want to be uh, dominant and uh, stop the quarterback. Um, how to stop the run game? Obviously, that's where it starts first. And then after that, when we get them in tough situations, second and third and long, we got to get off on third down. Know what they want to do. Know the type of concepts they that they want to run. Route concepts. Trust in my back back end and linebackers to do their job in the front end with great pressure. Um, that's really what we need to do to clear to uh, close out this game. Thanks, Will. Thanks, AC.